Have you ever thought about building your own gaming PC? Imagine the power and adaptability at your fingertips. A gaming desktop PC offers unbeatable versatility and performance. It outshines current-gen gaming consoles when it comes to upgradability, graphic quality, and sheer power, keeping you ahead in the gaming world. But if the thought of building your first gaming PC feels overwhelming, fear not. We're here to guide you through each step. Don't worry, we've got you covered. By the end of this video, you'll be well on your way to assembling your dream gaming rig. Before you start, make sure you have all the necessary components and tools. You'll need a CPU, a motherboard, a dedicated graphics card, and at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. You'll also require an internal solid-state drive, a standard internal hard drive, a case with system fans, and a high-quality power supply. Don't forget your optical drive, peripherals, and additional components like an aftermarket CPU cooler. Essential tools include a magnetic screwdriver, thermal interface material, cable ties, an anti-static wristband, and a headlamp. With everything in hand, you're ready to begin your PC building adventure. Start by preparing your case on a stable surface. This is your canvas, your foundation, and the home for your gaming beast. The first step is to remove the left side panel of your case. This will give you access to the motherboard tray, the heart of your build. Next, install brass standoffs in the motherboard tray. These little guys are essential as they ensure your motherboard doesn't come into direct contact with the case, preventing any electrical shorts. Make sure the standoffs are aligned with the screw holes on your motherboard. Now it's time to fit the I.O. shield at the back of your case. This little piece of metal is more than just a decorative element. It protects your system from dust and helps with the grounding process. Finally, let's talk about cable management. Proper cable management not only makes your build look clean but also improves airflow, keeping your system cool during those intense gaming sessions. Now that your case is prepared, it's time to install the CPU and RAM. It's easier to install the CPU and RAM before placing the motherboard in the case. You see, the CPU, or central processing unit, is the brain of your PC, and the RAM, or random access memory, is its short-term memory. Together, they're vital for a smooth gaming experience. Start with the CPU. Locate the CPU socket on your motherboard. It's usually square and contains a lever. Lift the lever, carefully line up the CPU with the socket, ensuring the golden triangle on the CPU aligns with the triangle on the socket. Once aligned, gently lower the CPU into the socket and secure it by pushing the lever back down. Next up, the RAM. Look for the long slots on your motherboard. Open the clips at either end, align the RAM stick with the slot. The notch on the stick should match the ridge in the slot. Push the RAM down firmly until the clips snap back into place. Remember, if you're installing multiple RAM sticks, ensure they're in the right slots for dual-channel operation. Most are color-coded for easy identification. With the CPU and RAM installed, it's time to add the drives. Now let's move on to installing your hard disk drive, solid-state drive, and optical drive. These are the components that will store all your game data, so let's make sure we get it right. You'll want to pay attention to the drive base sizes as you place each drive into its respective slot. Once they're snugly installed, grab your SATA cables and connect each drive to the motherboard. And remember, neat cable management isn't just for looks. It helps improve airflow and cooling. With the drives in place, it's time to install the graphics card and power supply. Installing the graphics card is simple. First, remove the bracket from the case. Next, lock the card into place. If you're going for a multiple GPU setup, just repeat the process and connect the bridge. Now let's get the power supply unit or PSU mounted in its bay. Once that's done, you'll need to connect all necessary power cables. Don't forget the motherboard, CPU, graphics card, drives, and case fans. With the graphics card and PSU in place, it's almost time to power up your new gaming PC. Connect your keyboard, mouse, monitor, and speakers. Now the moment of truth has arrived. Take a deep breath and hit that power button. If all goes well, your new gaming PC will boot up and you'll see the post or power on self-test screen. This is a great sign that everything is working as it should be. However, if you encounter any issues, don't panic. Troubleshooting is a normal part of the process. Check your connections and make sure all components are properly installed. If needed, consult your motherboard's manual or search online for solutions. Once your system is up and running, it's time to install your operating system. Whether you're using a bootable USB or DVD disc, 
follow the prompts to get your OS up and running, then install the necessary drivers for your hardware, followed by your favorite games and software. Congratulations, you've built your gaming PC. But the journey doesn't end here. There are always ways to optimize and enhance your gaming experience.